I'm like, I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this whole Diddy situation is getting like insane. From him being gay to him allegedly essaying and graping his ex, what was it, his wife or girlfriend? I'm not too sure on the relationship, but I know they were dating at one point in time. I mean, that whole case was totally insane. Like, there were some parts of that case that just seemed to be like, what the F is wrong with Diddy, bro? Like, apparently he was like a rapist cuck. Like, I know, I know that doesn't really make sense, but apparently he would like force her to, you know, do it with other guys while he sat there and watched. And it's like, what is that, bro? Like, you're, you're a rapist cuck? And this is apparently when, like, they were in a serious relationship. So, I don't know. Diddy is clearly a weirdo if that's true. I never seen a rapist cuck. Like, you force your wife or girlfriend, get commit a girlfriend to do it with other guys right in front of you. And, uh, uh, oh, my God. I don't understand, bro. But it seems like today the sins of Diddy's past is catching back up to him as apparently his house has been raided by the feds for trafficking and not any like drug trafficking we're talking about the you know trafficking and trafficking the type of stuff that Andrew Tate was accused of I mean these things were also alluded by Cassie in their suing case I think there's multiple articles saying that Diddy was suspected of gang grape alongside with trafficking anyways just in case you haven't seen the news video well I'm gonna show it for you guys Breaking news right now, we're following the Department of Homeland Security conducting a raid at a house in Holmby Field Hills, believed to be connected to Sean Combs, the rapper and music executive, perhaps being linked to a sex trafficking investigation. He got some shots of a few people coming out of the home. Those people have been detained. Now we're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information from. We were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement vehicles at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say, less than 10 minutes ago. We got here even before the crime scene tape came up. So uh, we're just down the hill. If you look up the street where Tony is right now to the right, you'll see one of those Bearcats and law enforcement. On the other side of those bushes, basically, is that home that is registered to Bad Boy Films, which is part of Bad Boy Entertainment. And the home in particular is registered not only to Bad Boy Films, but to one of P. Diddy's daughters. They are heavily armed and uh, they've been very tactful, would probably be the best word to use as they uh, made entry into this home uh, this afternoon. We actually watched them as they made through their made their way through one of these uh, side gates, and as soon as they got inside the home, one of the things, the first things they did was made their way into this garage that you see is open right there. Now, they did take a couple people into custody. We witnessed that. Now, are they under arrest? Are they just being uh, asked about what they know? That I can't answer, but I can tell you there's three people right there that were taken into custody Today we're, we're inside that home at the time of the raid. We did see a bunch of investigators going in, making the raid in there, and clearing that as well. So they're going to do a thorough search as they conduct this raid. And so far, Stu, from what I understand and from Haley on the ground there, they have not seen, and we have not seen from our vantage point, any sign of Sean Combs, the 54-year-old who is believed to be the property owner of this. So that happened, and um, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I'm not really surprised if Diddy actually did this because, bro, I couldn't find the video, but I, I saw a while back ago, it might have been like last year, two years ago, Diddy was connected to some type of like Congress guy or somebody, like he was running for like mayor or senator, like I'm not too sure, it, it was a black guy, and but eventually this elected official or this person who was running for some type of Congress seat in some type of state, I think it was like Missouri or something, he got arrested for trafficking, gay Email, so you know what I'm saying? Is there really a weird coincidence that Diddy is being accused of trafficking and alongside he's been connected to the past with other guys who are in the government for trafficking? But hey, the truth must come out one day. It's been rumored for years that Diddy is one of those type of Jeffrey Epstein type guys, okay? Like he's no better than him. I just don't, don't think that he's messing with children like Jeffrey Epstein was, but I don't change the fact that he's an alleged rapist along with the last trafficker and probably a bunch of other stuff. And you know, it looks like he has much more crying to do as the last time he'd face some type of judgment we saw this man distraught in public which was bullshit i'm pretty sure that was some type of pr stunt in the hope to get sympathy and it's like bro you just been accused of gang rape why would anybody have some type of sympathy for you just because you're looking like you're distraught like a uh, nice try buddy anyways we're watching the downfall of diddy hey wait i'm gonna disengage to do to social where you gonna see this magician play now watch me switch i flip the script unleash that in a rage and 